Hello, I'm Gary Mallard, and I'm going over some more devotions this today. And I hope the Lord will pierce your heart with this love and that you'll get to know him if you don't know him. And if you do know him, I pray that you'll become stronger in the Holy Spirit, that you may live your life according to what he would like for you to live and not yourself, but of what the Lord wants you to, that his will be done. The title of this devotion today, There Is a Way Out. No matter what you're going through, where you've been, what you may go through in the future, no one knows. The Lord knows everything, but what he wants you to do is to rely on him and to seek him. And at this time, I'm going to go in the Lord of prayer say, that he may get the glory from all of this. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day. Lord, I settle my heart down and my spirit that you may run through me, Lord, that they may see you. And to hear the words that you put on my heart today, Lord, that they, they will, the ones that don't know you will know there is a way out, Lord, through Jesus. And the ones who do know you that's going through things will be strengthened by you. Lord, go with us now. And I just thank you and honor you for all that you have done. Lord, this is a, a privilege what you did for us and what you're doing through me with this, Lord, that you may get all the glory. And we thank you and all these things and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. There is a song we learned, and it went something like this. Be careful, little eyes, what you see, for the Father up above, looking down in love. He knows all things. He knows everything we've done, everything that we'll do. And I just pray that you'll continue to serve him and to seek him. Are you caught in the things that shouldn't be? Porn, drugs, alcohol, or something else that's against the Holy Spirit? Living a life that Jesus doesn't approve of? I'm going to read Corinthians 6, 9 through 11. Do you not know that the wicked will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither the sexual immoral or idolaters or adulterers, nor male prostitution, nor homosexual offenders, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanders, nor swindlers, will inherit the kingdom of God. And all this is what some of you were, but you were washed and you were sanctified. You were justified in the name of Jesus Christ by the Spirit of our God. Jesus wants you to repent. Tell Jesus you are sorry. Tell Jesus he loves a broken heart. He wants you to claim your sin that he can cleanse you from it. I'm going to read Luke 18, 9 through 14. It's the parable of the tax collector. To some who were confident of their own righteousness and looked down on everyone else, Jesus told this parable. Two men went up to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee, the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee stood up and prayed about himself. God, I thank you that I am not like other men, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give a tenth of all I get. But the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up to the heaven, but beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I'll tell you that this man, rather than the other, went home justified before God. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. If you truly repent, Jesus will forgive you. You cannot hide anything from Jesus. He knows everything about you, what you have done or have not done. You may say in your heart, well, what things? Well, the second thing you have to do is accept Christ in your heart. Jesus knows if you haven't accepted him in your heart. And if you have, what have you done in your life since you have accepted him? Philippians 2, 12 to 13, each one of us has to work our own salvation with fear and trembling. No one can do it for you. Each one is going to take an account of what you have done or haven't done for Christ. If you are sincere about Jesus, about changing your lifestyle, his word promises he will deliver you from what you may ask. His word says he will deliver us from evil. For everyone born of God overcomes the world. Everyone needs to experience Christ in their life. When you accept Christ in your heart, 
you get the same Holy Spirit disciples got is what you do with the new life he has given you that matters. So many are excited about Jesus when they accept him in their heart. Then many get complacent after a while and just go through life. Don't let that fire go out that Jesus gives you. Keep, it, keep that fire kindled. Keep it blazing. Because that is what Lord, the Lord wants us to do. And so many times we let it go out to, a, to nothing but a little spark. Keep your, keep your fire going. Jesus wants us to live life to the fullest each day. Telling people about Jesus is great. That is a command that he gives us each day, but also live your life according to his word. There are so many that profess Jesus with their mouth, and the next speak words that are not pleasing to to Jesus. Jesus hates a double-minded lifestyle. We cannot take the life of salvation lightly. Jesus sacrificed his whole life getting us to where he is after this life. Do you realize what Jesus gave up? He had his whole, his whole glory, everything. He was up wanting down on this earth where sin was, and he took what he had and gave it all away for us, for, for us to have eternal life. That's what he said, don't take the salvation lightly. He didn't. He was whipped. He had a crown of thorns on his head. They sped upon him, they beat him, they hit him. And yet, what did Jesus say? Jesus, they know not what they do. Jesus was telling us, Don't do not take this the life of salvation lightly. It grieves Jesus when one doesn't accept Christ. He made each and every one of us. And his and his will is for each and every one of us to be saved. We know that's not gonna happen to so many eternal lives on Jesus that they don't want anything to do with him. But Jesus loves us so much, he would go after one just as much as he would go out with many. That's how much he loves each and every one of us. Remember the title of this devotion, There Is a Way Out? Well, there is. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Whatever you, have, whatever you are going through, it may not be the sin that was described earlier, by the way, he will deliver you if you repent and ask Jesus into your heart. Jesus will also get you through the rough times in your life. Jesus doesn't promise life will be easy. He promises he will get you through it, whatever it is. May God bless you with your walk in his life. Remember, he has a life of the sparrow in his hand. I know, my friend, he will carry you. I pray this devotion it's hit you like it did me when I wrote these. These, these words are struggly from what the Lord told me to write. They're nothing that came from me. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will work through you, that you'll take heed of what the Bible says. I pray that these devotions will guide you to the Bible. Don't let just these devotions stop. These devotions parallel the Bible, and the Bible is so powerful. That's one of the elements that he gives us. He gives us so many. So use it. And he will bless you for it. He says, if you go in the, in the closet and shut the door and praise him privately, he will praise you and bless you openly. That people may know that, they, they, that you see Jesus in your heart. And you may be the only Jesus that they see by living the life the, the way that Jesus would like you to live. I thank you for listening. And, and I hope you have a blessed day. And may God bless you.